The James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye into the cosmos, has recently uncovered something astonishing an extraordinary structure at the edge of the observable universe that defies expectations and potentially redefines our understanding of space, time, and the formation of the cosmos. This boundary, lying approximately 13.8 billion light years from Earth, is not a physical wall, but a limit imposed by the age of the universe and the speed of light. What lies at or beyond this limit has long been a mystery, until now. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. For decades, astronomers have speculated about the earliest galaxies and the nature of space at the universe's edge. Until the deployment of Webb, telescopes could only peer back so far, their views limited by technological constraints and the murkiness of cosmic time. The Hubble Space Telescope, for all its monumental contributions, began to struggle at redshifts beyond 8 or 9, where galaxies appear so dim and so redshifted by the universe's expansion that they blend into the cosmic background. Webb was designed specifically to break through this veil, to see further, deeper, and with more clarity than any instrument before it. What the James Webb Telescope found is not just one object or one distant galaxy, it's a sprawling ancient tapestry of protostructures that may represent the earliest, most primitive frameworks of galaxy formation appearing less than 300 million years after the Big Bang. It's not just the age of these formations that stun scientists. It's their complexity and mass. Where cosmologists expected to find small, simple clouds of hydrogen gas beginning to coalesce, Webb instead discovered mature, large-scale structures, galaxies or what appear to be galaxies, with surprising brightness, density, and form. This implies that the early universe may have evolved far more rapidly and energetically than existing models predicted. Using its near-infrared camera NIRCAM, Webb captured these faint ancient signals stretched across billions of light years. What should have been barely perceptible whispers in the darkness turned out to be sharp, well-defined objects, emitting light that has traveled across the entirety of cosmic time. Some of these galaxies show signs of already having formed significant amounts of stars, dust, and even early black hole activity. The radiation signatures suggest intense, fast bursts of star formation, phenomena previously believed to occur only hundreds of millions of years later. This discovery presents an intriguing tension with the LCDM model, the standard model of cosmology that includes cold dark matter and a cosmological constant dark energy. If massive galaxies already existed when the universe was just a few hundred million years old, then something in our understanding of the timeline is off. Either the physics of the early universe allowed galaxies to form at a much faster rate than previously thought, or the initial conditions themselves were different than assumed. Perhaps matter clumped together in a more organized fashion than the simulations suggest, or perhaps there are forces or mechanisms at play that scientists haven't yet considered. More puzzling is the fact that several of these early galaxies seem to exhibit rotational characteristics, organized motion that hints at the presence of dark matter halos, even at this early stage. This suggests that dark matter was not only present, but already playing a structural role in shaping galaxies when the cosmos was less than 2% of its current age. These implications ripple outwards, challenging long-held assumptions about how long it takes for galaxies to organize, how stars ignite in those early stellar nurseries, and even how dark matter behaves over time. In one particularly remarkable field of view, Webb identified what appears to be a dense region where several early galaxies are clustered together. A proto-supercluster, potentially the ancestor of the massive galaxy clusters we observe today. The very existence of such a structure, so early in the universe's history, calls into question our models of gravitational accretion and galactic interaction. It suggests that gravity was not just pulling matter together, but doing so in highly efficient, large-scale ways that seem almost engineered for complexity. These revelations have triggered an avalanche of recalculations in the astrophysics community. If star formation was already so advanced by the time the universe was a few hundred million years old, then the Dark Ages, a period after the Big Bang where the universe was thought to be devoid of stars and galaxies, might have been much shorter than believed. 
The reionization era in which starlight began to ionize the surrounding hydrogen gas and light up the universe might have started earlier and more violently. Webb's observations pushed this period closer to the Big Bang than any previous evidence had dared to suggest. Adding to the mystery is the unexpected presence of heavy elements in these early galaxies. The light signatures picked up by Webb show signs of elements like oxygen, carbon, and even iron, materials that should have taken generations of star formation and supernovae to produce. Their presence so early implies either that the first stars known as Population 3 stars formed and died rapidly, enriching the surrounding space with heavier elements far faster than anticipated, or that there was some unknown mechanism at work accelerating nucleosynthesis. One of the most tantalizing aspects of this discovery is what it hints at regarding the fundamental nature of the universe. If the observable edge is populated with mature structures, what lies just beyond? While the cosmic horizon represents the limit of what we can currently observe, it doesn't necessarily mean that's all there is. The structures Webb has uncovered could be part of a broader, more ancient network of matter that exists beyond our light cone. The implications veer into the philosophical and metaphysical. Is the universe infinite in structure or does it loop, echo, or evolve in ways that mirror itself? Equally captivating is the potential connection to inflation theory, which posits that the universe expanded faster than the speed of light in the first tiny fractions of a second after the Big Bang. If Webb is now capturing evidence of complex structures formed during or shortly after this inflationary period, it could offer a direct observational link to one of the most speculative but foundational aspects of cosmological theory. The symmetry and scale of these early structures might encode the fingerprints of that original inflationary burst. At the same time, Webb's findings force a re-examination of the initial conditions of the Big Bang itself. If matter distributed itself into galaxies and clusters so rapidly, the density fluctuations in the early universe must have been sharper or more pronounced than the standard cosmic microwave background CMB data suggests. Alternatively, unknown processes, perhaps involving dark energy, scalar fields, or even unknown particles, could have played a role in guiding the evolution of matter. Every new image, every faint ancient photon that Webb collects, adds a piece to this intricate puzzle. Even the shape and color of these primordial galaxies are surprising. Instead of uniform spheres or vague blobs, some of them appear elongated, warped, or disturbed, as if already in the midst of galactic mergers or gravitational tug-of-wars. This dynamism adds to the sense that the early universe was not a calm, cooling sea of matter slowly coalescing, but rather a chaotic, violent arena of activity, a cosmic crucible forging the building blocks of everything that followed. On a technical level, the success of Webb's observations at this extreme distance is a marvel in itself. Its instruments are fine-tuned to detect the infrared light that has been redshifted beyond the optical range, meaning the telescope is essentially seeing heat signals from the dawn of time. The calibration required to distinguish these signals from the foreground noise of more recent galaxies, interstellar dust, and cosmic microwave background is nothing short of extraordinary. Engineers and scientists worked for decades to perfect the optics, thermal shielding, and data analysis techniques necessary to achieve this clarity. The edge of the observable universe as seen through Webb is no longer just a conceptual boundary. It is a rich, complex, and astonishingly active landscape. These first glimpses are changing what astronomers thought was possible and are opening doors to new questions about the speed, scale, and fundamental nature of cosmic evolution. Every image Webb sends back is a message in a bottle from the ancient cosmos, traveling billions of years across space to arrive at our tiny outpost in the Milky Way. This finding reorients not just the timeline of the cosmos, but the framework by which we study it. The notion that galaxies were already thriving and evolving at a stage when space itself was still new reshapes our narrative of cosmic history. It invites the possibility that our universe, in its infancy, may have been far more turbulent, creative, and alive than we had dared to imagine. And it raises the profound possibility that the processes which shaped our universe may be mirrored, repeated, or reflected in regions forever out of reach. The James Webb Space Telescope has not just looked further, it has transformed our perception of where we come from. The edge of the observable universe, once a dim and silent frontier, now pulses with life, 
structure, and the echoes of untold beginnings. As Webb continues its mission, diving deeper into these uncharted realms, the discoveries still to come may yet turn science on its head again. But already, the telescope has done what once seemed impossible. It has found the luminous threads at the outermost bounds of existence, and they shine with answers we've only begun to understand. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on James Webb's latest Edge of Universe discovery? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.